Hello everybody, this is Hunter Black Luna with a State of the Channel update recorded December 16th, 2013. It's been quite a while since I've done one of these, because things have been just sort of going along. Sometimes I'm uploading a series of videos and producing content, and other times I'm quiet. But there hasn't been a lot to talk about. However, I do have a few things to discuss now, hence the video. In the background, I'll probably put random pictures or some footage, perhaps of stuff I have yet to upload. In any case, I have a few updates about my channel and the LPs, and then a question at the end for the viewers. First up, I'd like to say how incredible I find it that anyone watches these videos. Traffic fluctuates, but the sheer number of hits this channel has accumulated in the space of like two years is astounding to me. I am incredibly grateful to anybody who decides to check my stuff out, and I hope it provides some entertainment, excitement, or whatever you get out of LPs. Some people don't appreciate LPs quite as much, however, as you may have heard from other sources. We've got another wave of content, ID, copyright bullshit going around, which seems to be a semi-regular thing on YouTube, especially as long as it insists on taking every claim at no matter how shady at face value and always taking their side against its own user base. This probably isn't a smart thing to do on the heels of forcing everybody into your pretty crap social networking Google Plus bullshit either. About the only feature I appreciate from that new scheme is that it's mildly easy to see when someone's left a comment on my videos or a reply to a comment elsewhere, although the old UI took care of that as well. Other than that, you could honestly take or leave Google Plus, I don't care. Except that now of course it's impossible to reply to old comments at all, and I'm not a fan of that. So yeah. The uh, actual subject at hand, and the reason I decided to make this video, content IDs. Oh my god. Over time they accumulate, but recently, wow. It's just not one or two people either, this is a massive and concerted effort. And it's just flat out retarded. Legitimate content owners should welcome the free publicity and advertising that Let's Play, Let's Play represents. I take the profits from my monetized LP videos and basically plug all that right back into purchasing new games and DLC and other content to make more LPs. It's kind of a small model of how an economy is, you know, supposed to work. And the scam artists? Well, people have been trying to skim money from any source they can, legit or not, for longer than any of us have been alive, so eh. They're scumbags for filing false claims, but hey. Several times now, I've seen claims so weak that literally the instant I hit the dispute button, the claim vanishes magically, as though they were aware even a lazy inquiry revealed that they have no grounds to stand on. And yet, YouTube decides to take them at face value anyhow, and in all its dealings, presume that they're on the level. You'll notice how there's no option to report a fraudulent content ID claim, whereas you are reminded repeatedly that if you falsely file appeals, you could be punished or even shut down. And when the content owner does deny your appeal and reinstate the ID again, your only recourse is an actual legal proceeding, and there's only two outcomes. The claim is released, or you get a copyright strike, as in those things you could only get three of before you're shut down. Intimidation against your user base too, Google. Oh, I'm not a fan. I have no plans to jump ship yet, although Twitch TV is looking better by the day. There's a reason YouTube became the internet standard for video streaming sites, though, and I sincerely hope things just get better. And Google realizes the trend of recent events and works to correct things, hopefully. If not, I'll make other plans, I don't know. I love doing these LPs, and it's become a bit of a way of life for me. I can hardly play games now without the urge to record it. LPing has actually helped me pace myself. Before, where I would go on five-hour gameplay binges or something, uh, that wasn't too good for me, <laughs> like, on a physical sense. Now, I literally don't have the file space for that, so there's a hard limit on how much I can actually do at one time. That's been helpful. In any case, the second item I want to talk about involves my LPs. I do what I want, when I want it, and make no apologies, really, if I end up taking a billion projects and only finishing, like, half of them at best. I know I have a lot of balls in the air, so to speak, so I guess I'll clear up some of my future generic plans. As of now... I'm probably done uh, at least a little bit of time with Space Base DF9. There hasn't been any form of update at all, even a small one in a solid month now, and that's a bad sign to me. The game isn't strong enough to stand on its own for a prolonged play session without being able to poke at the shiny new features in an update. There isn't enough meat there to keep me from getting a little bored. I really hope they actually finish this game and don't just leave it hanging. That would be a disappointment. I saw great things in this game's concept. It could be the Dwarf Fortress in space. 
It's not now. It's so far. It's not, it can't hang with Dwarf Fortress. It can't even hang with other alpha games, honestly. <sighs> Speaking of other alpha games, my KSP series is probably on hold for a bit, too. I'm just not feeling it. The success of the manned Mooner mission was quite exciting, and the obvious next step is probably a few Minmus missions or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll go for it, maybe not. That's a good game to just sort of stop occasionally at, since really you control the events of the story as much as there is. It's really your story. It's, it's playing in your sandbox. It's Minecraft. XCOM Enemy Unknown is still active. Still having fun with that game. Enemy Within, rather. Might record... Uh, well, this uploads or something. I don't know. I regret that I chose the wrong meld application early on and am being materially punished for my foolishness in ignoring the big stompy Max. Oh well. Also, I really want to do a run with the trading roulette on because it looks fantastically fun. You could really have a chance to assemble a squad of ridiculous badasses with all the most broken abilities that every class has. I think it would add to the uniqueness of your troops too, which is one of the primary draws of the new XCOM anyhow. KOTOR 2 is still on hold due to technical issues. I'm not sure if I'll ever get it running again. All I have is the disk version, and my laptop's disk drive is fucked. The external disk drive I got is also fucked. I might get a new cheap one, but eh. Tropico's kind of on hold. There's nothing stopping me from getting on playing a session of that either, I don't know. Maybe. It's really great fun, and somehow I always seem to be doing pretty well at the game, even when I end up rusty and not playing for a while. Other projects can be presumed to be on hold indefinitely, for now. As to new projects I'm looking at doing... I don't know about Endless Space anymore, guys. I suck at that game. And in that really specific, civilization-esque way, where I don't know what the fuck to do to make my empire not wheeze along at half the speed the AI and other decent players seem to achieve. It's a really specific kind of frustrating inadequacy, although in the case of Civ, it's often because I've committed the unpardonable sin of building something early on instead of the more optimal thing. One thing I am looking forward to is a somewhat belated LP of Deus Ex Human Revolution. I finished downloading it like yesterday. I've had it for a while in my library after one of those ridiculous Steam sales, but I've never even touched it. I've heard pretty good things about it. My sum total experience is watching a few LPs to a few parts a year or two ago, so it will mostly be a blind run as well. I may even do that quite soon. We'll see. So, things turned out way more rambly than usual, and I don't know why, but hey, I hope this was okay to listen to. One other thing I wanted to mention was that I'm pondering doing more just talky videos, like movie, book, or game reviews, political things, whatever comes into my head. It's unlikely to ever feature my face because I don't want to do anybody the disservice, but hey, I don't know if there would be any interest in that. And finally, the question I mentioned earlier, and the thing I'm also specifically looking for feedback on, relates to a bunch of stock footage I have in storage somewhere. Specifically, I've recorded a ton more Mass Effect 3 multiplayer footage than I've currently uploaded. Possibly as much as half of my exploits in that field aren't online yet, but I eventually just sort of stopped uploading. They didn't seem terribly popular, even by my own meager standards, but if I don't have anything else to upload, would you rather I started those up again or not even bother? Um, and speaking of that, almost all my content ID matches on EA games like the Mass Effect series. <laughs> yeah. Or SimCity. Or fucking. Uh, my Mass Effect series in particular is riddled with that bullshit. It's ridiculous. And I just had to take a few fucking screenshots of this because I just have to show you this, and that will probably speak louder than words. This illustrates a little bit of the annoyance it is to get plastered with these things, hopefully. And they come in multiple waves. Like, I've had com people come in and claim, then the claim was released, and then some other idiot sidles up. That was what the, that was what made me take the screenshots, and probably what made me do this video in the first place was to show you that. Uh, it really is quite annoying. In any case, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a nice day. Happy holidays and all that. And I'll see you next time.